Felicias Murata. I'm 36, a mom of two, a businesswoman, a musician, a comedian. Okay, I come from a Christian background. My parents are pastors, and it, though it was strict, you know, when your parents are Christians, there are certain things that they won't allow us to do, and we will be wanting to do them. Mm. But I can't complain about my childhood. So growing up, you've uh, or grown in Christianity. It's something that you still... I uh, started dating when I was um, 17, mm -hmm. and then into 18, I got pregnant soon after I wrote my O's. Then I had my first child, uh, Felicia. And then, um, you know, I was still very young and I knew literally nothing about marriages and stuff. I was not for a while. Um, then I got married again when I was 23. All right. 21. 21. 21. So let me just, let me just, uh, you said 19. That's when you got pregnant. 18. 18. Yes. 19, you moved in with the guy? 17, 18, I got pregnant. I moved in with him. Uh -huh. Then I moved out when I was 19. You moved out when you were 19. I think we stayed together for a year or so, a year and a half. And then 21. Then at 21, yes. You, uh, that's when you decided you're getting married again. Yeah, I started dating at 20. Then we got married when I was 21, uh -huh. if I'm not mistaken. That was... I don't know, should you say it's your second marriage or your first yeah, official marriage? Yeah, because the marriage? first one, I got, I got pregnant and then they pray, paid the whatever, what you call it, damages yeah. and whatnot, the Shona things. Yes. The cultural things, mm. they did that. And okay. then, so I might as well call it a customary. A customary marriage? Yes. So then, at 21, you're at now 21, in second marriage. At 21, I started dating, then I got married customarily, mm. then I had a white wedding. Oh. Yeah, an official wedding. So I moved in with my husband and we started staying together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How long were you married for, for this, uh, the official, what we call the white wedding? Um, six years. Mm -hmm. And, and in that know. marriage, was it a good marriage? It started off as a good marriage, a pet marriage, the best marriage, because the guy really loved me. Mm. I remember we had challenges with my mother-in-law. She never really wanted him to marry me because she, so far I, was, I was a very good murora. <laughs> I used to be very quiet and yeah. very decent. Yeah. I didn't know nothing about anything. Yeah. I was very polite because of the way I was raised. Uh -huh. I was very respectful. Mm. But then that marriage changed me into something else. What did it change because you Because of into? the abuse. I was so, I was abused too much and to explain something and you know, they'll just brush you off and say, oh, so what? And you know, infected with HIV and it got worse. So I really, I was traumatized mm -hmm. later on in the marriage. Okay. So, yeah. um, then my daughter was uh, now, my second daughter was now six months, if I'm not mistaken. So this other night I got a terrible headache and uh, we didn't sleep because it was really that bad. So, we um, and then uh, the doctor asked, like, when was the last time did you guys get tested? Did you get tested? I said, oh, when I was pregnant, the last time before I delivered, then I was okay. So then he said, I would advise you go and get tested again. I said, why? Mm. Then I, I noticed that, you know, when something is going on, but he didn't want to mention it because he was holding here, you know how it is with doctors, mm. you don't know what he's feeling. Mm. So I just said, I advise you go again for what? For tests for tests and then my husband was there with me then we went back home but I could already notice that there are changes he, he, uh, he became very quiet unusual oh, I just want to tell you if you are going to find out anything I'm there for you you know you start I started suspecting already before I went to New Start Center in the CBD and then um, I got there I got tested and later on they called me for the results and then I sat down, the, the counselor started saying, ah, what are you going to do if you find out that you are positive mm. and mm. whatnot? And then I was like, I, I don't know, because I don't know if I'm positive or not. So I wouldn't know what I'm going to do about it. So then that's when they broke the news to me. Like, that I lost control of myself. I couldn't believe it because I knew then, okay, this is... Uh, how many, should I say, relationships did you go through after uh, your second marriage? Mm, I think four. All right. Out of those four, <laughs> how many were marriages? How many ended up being, you know, something whereby you say, this is my partner? 
I think it's just the one. Uh, the is other. it one, my titi? Okay, because then when I when I started dating, there was this white guy from England who uh -huh. came, and then he really wanted to settle. Okay. The first one, that one is not known because okay. he, that time I wasn't on Facebook that much. Uh -huh. You know, I wasn't popular. I was just me. So he traveled all the way from the UK to see me. Then he said he wanted to marry me. He wanted mm. to settle down, but I have to go back to England with him, but without the kids. And you, were not and you know, that. after God comes my kids. Mm. I don't know if you can't be with me and my kids. So I'm sorry, uh -huh. yeah, we can't. Okay. So that was then. Then I dated this guy. Um, then we engaged, if I'm not mistaken. Uh -huh. Then uh, we fell out. Uh -huh. Then I I got another one. Uh -huh. Third. And then I think we engaged, and then okay. we fell out, uh -huh. and then I, I got another one. Uh -huh, the fourth one. We didn't engage. Uh -huh. We fell out. Okay. I, I found out that he was he was cheating. Uh -huh. Also, then the other one we engaged. Uh -huh. Then I got married customarily. Then we had a white. We Is this the la the previous one? The last That's one. The previous so in total, one. it's been five. It's been five. You're, you're lucky in love. How is this possible? That no, you, I don't you... think I'm lucky. I just think I'm a victim. I've got people, then I, I don't know. I think of what people will ask. I'm a survivor of abuse. I'm a survivor of a lot of things. I'm a, I, get, I, I get bullied, but what, what happens with me is I stand for myself. Mm. And after, my, this is seven. <laughs> seven guys later. Come on. You still believe in there love? There is love out there. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs>